several different tools here from the local Home Depot. Um, you see the utility tool has a carbide blade on it. Got a little extra one here from Chicago Electric Harbor Freight. I think it was a couple bucks, three, four, or five bucks. Got a Dremel tool with two different size grout removal bits. This one's a one, a one eighth, and a one sixteenth. And then we got a good old handy uh, grout saw. Basically, just put it in there and back and forth. What I want to demonstrate today is the different uh, how each one of them works, and we're going to find out actually which one works the best. Obviously, the most more expensive is going to be if you don't already have these tools, you'd have to purchase these tools upward of you know hundred dollars and I think fifty dollars. Uh, this tool is about seven eight dollars. Some extra blades for it are about three dollars. Um, these bits are about thirteen dollars a piece, and like I said, this is probably three four five bucks at Harbor Freight. So. <clears throat> We're going to de demonstrate each one of them and uh, see how they do. Alright, first up, actually uh, I want to tell you I would actually advise having a shop vac nearby. I'm not going to run it during the video just because it, you know, it's going to produce a lot more noise and we're already going to have noise from the tools. So, but as you can see here, it produces a lot of dust very quickly so highly suggested to see what you're doing and also you know clean the mess as you're going shop back all right first up we're just going to test out the hand tool all right i went ahead and uh sucked it up with the shop back as you can see for about uh 30 seconds maybe to 30 to 60 seconds worth of work did a pretty good job um, for seven dollars especially only one thing I noticed is it because of the the depth of or the width of the blade it's kind of not not really getting the the grout off the edges so probably take a little bit more work going in here at an angle and working off that grout that's up on the edge of the tile so I mean it works um, takes a little bit of Elbow grease obviously is going to take a lot more labor, but it does work, and then you're going to have to come back and do a little fine tuning on the edges. All right, next up, what we're going to try out is the multi-purpose tool with a carbon carbon bit blade on it. It's going to be kind of loud and obnoxious. I would highly suggest also wearing um, some earplugs or earmuffs and dust mask while doing this. Alright, as you can see, I did a really good job too in about the same amount of time. Took a little bit less effort uh, manually. However, it does go a little deeper. And for all intents and purposes, for what I'm doing, I'm just doing a regrout. Um, the manual tool, the manual saw right here, that did got over here. It's kind of hard to see because I, I can't get very well in focus, but um, can't really see the depth here, but the depth on this one is good enough to get new grout in there. Uh, this one obviously goes a bit deeper. Um, you know, honestly that could be, I mean you could ease up on it and not go so deep, but um, plenty enough room to get grout in here and actually with a little bit less depth, it won't take as much grout um, if you're concerned about conserving grout. All right, next up we're gonna do the um, Dremel tool with the 1 8 bit on it. Uh, as you can see, it's really barely taking anything out and it's taking a lot longer time. Um, be honest with you so far. I'm really not impressed with the uh, the Dremel with the grout removal bit So you 
you see here, I tried the, uh, what I did is I switched out to the smaller 1 16th bit. Um, seems to work a little better than the 1 8th bit, but to be honest with you, I mean, it just is taking a long time and it's still leaving. I mean, I'd have to go back here and go over this, you know, several more times to get, get these edges clean. Um, and <laughs> the thing is, you know, doing a whole entire shower, you know, with, with that, number one, the bits are $13 a piece are going to run out. Uh, and dull out, I think, fairly quickly as well as time. Um, so my overall evaluation uh, for bang for the buck, honestly, my overall evaluation is bang for the buck. This manual tool right here for about eight dollars. Uh, takes a little bit more labor and manual labor, but it does does work if uh, you already have a multi-purpose tool. Suggest getting one of these blades, a couple of these blades. This also um, is much quicker, quicker than the Dremel with the grout removal tool. Um, some of my grout lines are very, very, very uh, close together. I'm not going to be able to get in there with the multi-purpose tool or the manual tool, so I'm going to have to just bite the bullet and take a little bit more time with the, the Dremel uh, bit on there.